It's with much pleasure I stand here this afternoon to deliver the English oration. My piece is entitled, Let's Have Our Chronicles Back. The Chronicles of the Kings of Man and the Isles, the Manx Chronicles, are a medieval Latin manuscript relating to the early history of the Isle of Man and, in my view, probably one of the most important surviving historical artefacts pertaining to our island if not the most important. The histories within are written in ink, on vellum parchment and form part of a collection of 12 historical works bound together in a single manuscript volume. The chronicles held inside being of great interest and significance to our island. The chronicles even record one of the more interesting and notable Tinwall meetings we have ever had where, at the Tinwall meeting of the 25th of October 1237, the Chronicle states that all islanders attended. It was noted that in the resulting tension, with a lot of unpleasant words being thrown around and disputes being bitterly contested, they couldn't come to any agreement. Nothing new there then. The Chronicle goes on to record, then the people rushed out of the meeting and fighting broke out, causing at least two deaths in violent scuffles. A point Mr President may like to take on board to ensure we get the business done in a more efficient manner. We don't have slayings anymore during debates but they are still robust at times with many members disagreeing with each other over issues of the day such as the recent Isle of Man post office and Manx radio discussions. What makes the Chronicles even more special is that the main part may well have been written at Russian Abbey around 1261 following the dedication of the Abbey Church, St Mary of Russian, in 1257, recorded in the Chronicles by the Cistercian monks at our Abbey during this time. Others say the Chronicles may have been more substantially written at the senior Cistercian Abbey of Furness. Well, me being a proud Manx man takes the pragmatic view that the Chronicles were actually written at Russian Abbey. OK, where's all this leading to? Well, our chronicles of the Kings of Man and the Isles are sitting in England as part of a British Library collection, our national treasure stuck in London of all places, and it seems anchored by British law to that institution. The irony of this would not be lost on William Christian. I placed the Tinwall debate in 2007 calling on the Council of Ministers to enter into discussions with the UK authorities to have the chronicles returned at that time. The Council of Ministers, following my successful re resolution, investigated the matter, reporting back to Tinwell sometime later that the Chronicles were legally and lawfully owned by the United Kingdom. So I now again make a call to our Council of Ministers to have a review of this situation. My Tinwell resolution of 2007 was unanimously backed, albeit slightly amended, and I had the support of the then Chief Minister Tony Brown who incidentally, Tony Brown being the instigator of a stained glass window placed in the House of Keys lobby depicting Liam Doan. I am also aware there is current and significant Tinwald interest in the Chronicles. I know our Chief Minister Howard Quayle is keen for the Chronicles return if there was a way of achieving this. Well, my call here today is straightforward and simple. If we can rescue William Christian's personal oak chair from Canada in recent months and have it returned to the former Christian seat of power at Milltown, then I'm absolutely sure there must be something we can do to rescue our Chronicles of Man, the most important historical and cultural Manx artefact. It would be a real and significant achievement if in the year of our island, and indeed with our biosphere designation, that we could make some progress here at the very least to have them on display at the Manx Museum for a period of time before the end of the year of our island celebrations. I have viewed the chronicles when they have been on display in the Manx Museum. To observe an original near 1,000 year old document relating to my homeland, my Celtic and Viking ancestors, was truly breathtaking meticulously scribed out and written in Latin in near perfect calligraphic script in ink, both black and red, red being used for capitals of the year being recorded in larger, more ornate fashion, all in neat rows resting on faint ruled pencil guidelines, done with great care and precision. 
I can't understand why such a beautiful artistic medieval achievement such as this and given how important and valuable to the island this document is why more intense interest and discussion haven't taken place before now. I raised the issue in 2007 in Tinwald and the time before that was in the early 1990s as far as I can tell. The Celtic League have also made calls for the return of this document. Well, we need to do more and I'm sure more can be done and I for one will be continuing this call with other Tinwell members and colleagues who have also shown a keen interest in the Chronicles as we go through 2019. Thank you. Guru Mayad.